Thank you for the introduction. Uh, I'm Tomi Fujiwara from DBCLS. Japan has a long history of research for diagnosis of rare and interactive disease. We called them Nambyo. The Ministry, Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare of Japan designated 330 diseases as Nambyo. <coughs> MHLW made guidelines for diagnosis of Nambyo and supports Nambyo patients with medical expenses. But there are many undiagnosed patients, so they can not receive sub the support of medical expenses. So recently, NGS-based di diagnostics uh, have been attempted for the undiagnosed patient. This workflow is typical while exome sequencing based diagnostics. Usually, WES identified more than 30,000 30, variants. And after removing non coding and synonymous and common variants, uh, several, several variants remind, and we get candidate diseases that can be diseases that caused by these variants. And for further now down, candidate diseases, uh, we retrieve disease phenotype associations from database like Orphanet, and we compared a set of phenotype, patient phenotypes with the phenotypes of <coughs> the candidate diseases. The higher similarity, the higher probability of the candidate disease. So in this process, Disease phenotype association is very important. But manually curated databases like Ofanet usually have a limited coverage. For example, only one third of rare diseases in Ofanet are associated with phenotypes. So to address this problem, we used text mining based approach to improve the coverage of disease phenotype associations. We automatically extracted the associations from more than 1 million case reports in Palmedo. As a result, two thirds of rare diseases in Ufanet are associated with phenotypes. Moreover, we developed PubCase Finder, uh, which is a diagnos diagnosis support system for rare diseases. PubCase Finder uh, utilizes disease phenotype associations extracted from pub published case reports. User inputs patients' phenotypes like this. And PubCase Finder provides a ranked list of rare diseases based on phenotypic similarity. This work was presented for SHG conference. So if you are interested in this work, uh, you can find the abstract from this conference homepage. So for getting more accurate disease phenotype associations, we, we extract disease phenotype associations from MHLW guidelines that include di diagnostic criteria for NAMBIO. Uh, there are 330 research team composed of physicians in Japan, and each team made each guideline. So we think this guideline includes accurate phenotypes for Nambio. And we used human phenotype ontology to extract phenotypes from guideline, guidelines, because uh, HPO is often used for a computational deep phenotyping in rare diseases. And these guidelines are written in Japanese, so we used HPO Japanese translations. The goal, the goal is to get these phenotype associations from these guidelines for each number. And in a preliminary study, we extracted these phenotype associations from these guidelines for 10 numbers. 
using pub dictionaries and pub annotations. We uploaded HPO Japanese terms to pub dictionaries. Uh, dictionary means a uh, collection of pairs, label, and ID. Anyone can upload dictionary in TSB format to pub dictionaries. Pub dictionaries immediately makes it ready for annotation. Second, we uploaded 330 documents to pub annotation. User can upload any documents. And third, we we got dictionary-based text annotation using a list service of pub dictionaries. Uh, as a result, we got uh, automatic annotation with HPO terms like this. Fourth, we manually corrected dictionary-based text annotation. Uh, experts manually looked up HPO terms in text if there is no annotation, no, uh, no annotation. and uh, experts confirm whether each annotation is correct or not. Uh, finally, we got a table data that includes original text and the corresponding HPO ID. This is a set of phenotype associations for a number. And this is a preliminary result for Moemoya disease phenotype associations. Moemoya disease is uh, one of the Nambio. Uh, Ophanet provides five HPO terms. And we extracted 129 HPO terms from published case reports. Uh, we extract many HPO terms, but uh, these are less reliable due to automatic annotation. And we extracted 21 HPO terms fr we, uh, from MHLW guidelines. Uh, these are highly reliable and uh, we could extend associations of orphanet with highly reliable. In a preliminary study, we extracted disease phenotype associations from MHLW guidelines that include diagnostic criteria for NAMBIO. Pub annotation and pub dictionaries facilitated getting automatic annotation and manual correction by experts. Um, the performance of automatic annotation can be improved by adding the newly identified terms to pub dictionaries. The newly identified term is this. This term was not automatically annotated but uh, corrected by curator. So we add this newly identified terms and we will improve the performance of automatic annotation. Thank you.